don't make a sound. They're driven by the noise. How did you 2012 can make forget a grudge, huh? You think this is personal? I'm trying to save his life. Save my life? You can you seriously just say that? Aren't you the son of a bitch who's doomed us all? It's a little more complicated than that, Oliver. Damn it! I'm coming back. Listen, I'm all you've got. So if you want to live, follow me. called this meeting to put an end to the crusade that you've got against my political career. It's funny, you say that almost as if you've convinced yourself that you've done nothing wrong. I've done what needed to be done. For whose benefit? Yours? Your political party? Your wallet? Aren't you the guy that won a Pulitzer Prize for his piece on the pursuit of happiness? Isn't that what I'm doing? You know, the main problem with humanity is that they deeply confuse happiness for pleasure. Happiness doesn't involve the senses. It's in your soul. Let me ask you, Jameson, are you truly happy? Your problem is, is that you still believe in happiness. But I'm a firm believer that even in today's world, happiness is power. And power is happiness. Power can't be happiness because power can be abused. Is it jealousy? What are you, jealous of my, my mansion? My travels, my multiple cars, my lifestyle. Is that what working in a cubicle does to you? Jealous. Of what? Of covering up environmental issues? Of misusing taxpayers' money for your own personal benefit? Of being the sole cause that this city doesn't have a functioning lakeshore? Because you take bribes from the companies that pollute it? Oliver, you're a good reporter and an excellent journalist, but in no way good enough to convince me that you hold any evidence that'll stand up in court. I don't need any evidence. I just need to get you out of office. By the way, Jameson, is that a little lipstick I see on your collar? Got a few minutes to advise Diana. You do remember your wife, don't you, George? Trust me, old friend, you don't want to do this. Oh, it's already been done. Friend? How could you do this to me? Amicus Plato said magic amica veritas. Very well. But remember, the truth spares no one. received no comment from Jameson's office, and Jameson's wife refuses to answer any questions on the subject. But for someone who built his campaign around family unity, this will most certainly be a devastating blow to his campaign for the already controversial politician who... I just received information that the photos of Jameson and his mistress will be now transmitted to us live. The mistress has now been identified. We are waiting for confirmation to release her name, but at this stage, the focus is on Jameson and his infidelity. Question arises as to if this is a long-term affair. But remember, the truth spares no one. Spares no one. Spares no one. Spares no one. Spares no one.
Hi, Dad. Am I still going to see you later tonight? It is your birthday after all. Oh, that sounds serious. Yeah, I can give you his information. Yeah, Oliver Rockwell. Yeah, the same Oliver Rockwell. Okay, great, I'll send that over to you. I'll see you a little later on, okay? Okay, bye. Do not engage. We need him alive. 